Uh, today we're gonna <clears throat> sew some shorts. Shorts for Willow. For Willow. That's our daughter. Yeah. You're gonna sew them. I'm gonna sew them. Okay. My first time sewing. You'll be great at it. I think so. Come on, baby, light my fire. Come on, baby, light my fire. Oh. Which one do you want to make for Willow? I'm here to have fun. Me too. Do I not look like I'm That's our pattern. So I only have two pattern pieces, which is good. That's it? Yeah. Super easy. Mm -hmm. She liked it. Okay, so grab the widest piece. I think it says back. Oh. And you're gonna yeah, but we want to preserve fabric, so line it here, and then line it up to the fold. Yep, and then we're going to pin all the way around, like on the corners, so it'll help us, like, cut it out. Okay. Okay, now you're going to cut it out. These are the scissors. Yeah. Wow. Shout okay. out to Fiskers. So do I, am I just, is it, is it okay if it's just a little bit? just outside of it or do I need to be like as close to the um, as close as as you can okay like this yep perfect <clears throat> so it works so well shout out to Fiskers how's this do you want a tip uh, please. Yeah, do what you're doing there, doing like long strokes. Yep. Yeah. Makes a better cut. Good job. Now we're going to do the other piece. Cool. So you do the same thing. But since it's a smaller piece, we can kind of like refold it. Okay. Save fabric. It's Oklahoma heat. It's no joke, people. It's no joke. You know, once got a tip from a pretty lady to do long cutting stretches. Does it work better? It works so much better. Thank you kindly, pretty lady. Now you're done cutting fabric. That's it? Yeah. Wow. Will those booties not gonna know what hit it with this beautiful shorts? So after we're done cutting <coughs> the template of the pattern, are we done with it? Yeah, it's the pattern did its job. Crazy. It's the booty. It's the back. The booty. <laughs> They would fit me. <laughs> so they're so wide because we're going to put elastic and it will like uh, make that cute like shrinking. Yep. So we're going to put it like right sides facing together means like the right side of the fabrics are together. Yep. And then we're going to match up this part down here and pin it in place. And we're gonna sew this part first, this side. So put it under this, it's called the presser foot. And we wanna keep the side seams together, like as close together as possible. And then we're gonna sew it at half an inch seam allowance. And that means there's half an inch between the side of the fabric and the stitch gotcha. that you're gonna make. Uh, lower the presser foot without lever. Oh. That's good. 
it's snappy. <laughs> yeah, you, you want that on your right foot. Okay. It's like driving a car. Okay. All right, so now you're going, I'm gonna turn this down. That's the speed. Okay. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna press the presser foot and go just a few stitches. What's my, what's my guiding technique? You can hold it like this, like with both hands. And it, the sewing machine is just gonna kind of like pull, pull it. it. Okay. So you're not trying to push it or okay. when it gets over here, not trying to pull it. You're just trying to guide it in a straight line. Okay. So like steady hands. Okay. So you can go a few stitches and then I'll tell you what to do next. This is my first sewing. Hey. Yeah. Okay, now you can stop. Wow. Good job. That's so smooth. Now press this button. It's going to go backwards and then press it again. A couple times, more times. You can like hold it down. Now we're going to go forward again. So that was like the back stitch and it's going to lock oh. in place. Gotcha. Like this? You're doing great. I'm just kind of following this line right here. That's smart. See folks, it just takes a little common sense. That's really what sewing is. No skill. I mean, would you say that I have skill right now? Yeah, you do. I don't think I do. I think I'm just guiding some cloth. <laughs> <laughs> Were you intimidated before this? I was. I didn't know if I was going to sew my fingers. I think it's pretty hard to. Like Jim Carrey on the Grinch. I think it's pretty hard to sew your fingers. Well, at this speed, yeah. <laughs> How fast this thing's going. Look at that. Five sews per minute. <laughs> I like that you call them sews. <laughs> What, what are they called? Stitches. Stitches? <laughs> See? No skill. Just your average Joe. <laughs> we can speed it up on the next one. Okay. Go to the end, and then we're going to do the same thing with the back stitch. Thanks. Thank you. Now you got to do the other side. I don't feel what that feels like. And, and then, then as you go, just kind of make sure the yeah, that's what fabric is. So it's holding it, so I don't need to like. Yeah. Gotcha. That's. You're right. not like holding it. You're just. See, I'm just getting to know you. I just I need to get to know you a little bit. I, you're doing so well. I just don't know what you're capable of at this point. You did it. Aha. It's perfect. Not bad. Not bad. <sighs> cool. And now, do you wanna? <laughs> Since we're at a good spot, do you want to surge the edge? Okay. Do you know what that means? No. Um, it's like on like your t-shirt, you could probably look. It's like this edge uh, right here, okay. and it will um, just stop it from unraveling and kind of make a clean edge. Goodness. So this is the inside. Yeah. The inside. We got a snack. Mm-hmm. It's important to have a pick you up. Now you will line up the crotch seams and pin it in place. Then you'll go over it with a half an inch seam allowance, and then you can finish off the seam by surging it. And this, folks, is what you call a fight. Well, I wasn't recording, so. <laughs> <laughs> now you're going to surge around this whole edge. Okay. Um, so it's different because you're not going from one end to the other. You're going to mm. just, um, and you're not going to cut off that much. So yeah, you're just going to go around the whole thing. And when you get back to the edge, you're just going to like overlap and kind of like taper off. And if you're off. Yeah. Okay. Folks, it's okay to go slow. Better slow than sorry. Do you want one layer? 
Yep, I got it. I got it, teacher. Let your student fail. <laughs> So we just measured Willow and she around her waist is like 21. 21 inches. So we're going to cut this to measure 21 inches. Wow. So we're just going to follow this ruler there oh. and cut it. Just don't stretch it, just okay. cut it at the natural. There you go. Okay. Yeah. Same. She has two uh, legs. Oh. <laughs> I sh we should have done this earlier, but I forgot. Okay. It helps to have long fingers. Attention. <laughs> okay, you're gonna leave like two inches open, so you're gonna start here and finish over here. Okay, I'm trying to get it back over here. This safety pin to the shorts. Close up the opening. Yes. Yeah, so. Well, we ran out of battery. Yeah. And uh, that's why we we're in different shirts. It's a few days after uh, we finished, and they look great. Willow, come Can here. Come here. You want to show everybody the romper? Yeah. They're called bloomers. Oh, the bloomers. <laughs> Here we go. Go on lots of things. Here we go. Oh, hey. Okay. Can we get your booty? There we go. Yeah, they were easy to make. Um, we had a little flub. Yeah, a little flub. We put the well. I put the the elastic for her leg at her waist, so it was very small. Yeah. But she fixed it. Yeah. Um, but it's an easy fit. Other than that, it was super easy to make. It was really easy. You're a good teacher. And if I can do them, guys, anyone can do them. So, yeah. so with the pattern, it has all the instructions and yep. goes into more detail. But yeah. yeah, yeah. Happy making, everybody. Have fun. You want to say bye, Willow? Bye. Oh. Say you say bye. Bye. <laughs>